Let's see what he did, man. What did he do, man? What did he do that's so special, man? Um, born into slavery in 1858. Are oh, you lucky, motherfucker, you? You was born in 1858. You was only a slave for like, what, seven, seven years and shit? You lucky dog, you, you was only a slave for seven years. That don't count. You wasn't even a slave then. You was playing, you was the little, you was masses playmates and shit. You was playing with masses of little kids and shit. Get bullied by masses kids. Born into slavery in 1858, Alonzo Herndon, the son of a black mother and a white father, Became Atlanta's first African American millionaire. No shit. He had that glider brain, man. <laughs> that nigga got he got glider brain, man. <laughs> he got glider brain, man. <laughs> Starting as a sharecropper, he later owned three successful barbershops. In 1900, he took a significant step towards his millionaire status by joining Booker T. Washington's National Negro Business League. Oh, so these was the nigga. Bush, Booker T. Washington was another um, half-breed, man. So that's that talented tenth. Press one of you ever heard of the talented tenth. <laughs> Whoever, who I heard of the Booker, Booker T. Washington's talented tenth. He said that the, the top the, the top tenth of black people, you gotta get them together and, and pour everything into them so they can be successful. Shout out to LR, LRS. That was his that was his um philosophy. Pour into the top ten percent of black people. Instead of, you know, what we do now, pouring everything into the fucking degenerates. Now, what percentage of that talented tenth do you think was mulattoes, man? <laughs> or octoroons? What do y'all think? What percentage do you think of that talented tenth was mulattoes or octoroons, man? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are terrible, man. Y'all ain't right, man. <laughs> Y'all ain't right, man. Something wrong with something wrong with your mind, man. Something is wrong with your mind, man. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit, man! Something is wrong with y'all mind, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Something wrong with y'all mind, man. Um, shout out to everybody watching on Rumble, man. Get them likes up, man. Let's get them likes up, man. Um, what we doing, likewise, man? A hundred nine, man. Come on, man. Get to 200, man. Early. Everybody who hasn't hit the like button, just hit it right now. Let's like pop 40 in the like column, right? Just off break. A mass like. A mass liking, man. Yeah, man. Salute to this mulatto, man. Four dollar. Name your favorite three black people. Um, you two, and then uh, famous uh, black people. Uh, uh, they're somewhere. They're so. Wait, hold on, hold on. Crap, I know his name. What's I his know name? His name. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, this is the this is the part that black people that they, they they're gonna have a hard problem swallowing this pause if they ever if it's ever presented to them right. White people. Don't hate you. They enjoy 
you know what I'm saying, your entertainment value. They're stuck with you, so they're resigned to that. But they don't really, like, they ain't sweating you like you like like y'all sweating them like like white people don't think about black people like that. And I trust me, I, I live in a white town, man. White people don't think about black people like that. Y'all don't it, as a like a group, as a collective. They're not thinking about the black collective like that. And I'm talking about regular white America. I'm not talking about some woke bitch that got a charity somewhere or some shit with purple hair and shit. I'm talking about the average white person. They don't really, they just, they ain't really they thinking, about like, oh, yeah, black people, what, what, what are they crying about now? Or like, what's going on with them now? Like, they don't think about you like that. They don't, man. And that's gonna be something that um black folk gonna be real hurt by, man. Okay, what's the uh fuck? What's fuck. the boxer? The boxer, the boxer. You know who I'm talking about. I don't know you're talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Tell me. You know who I'm talking about. I don't. I swear you do. You know how many black famous, boxers there are? Famous boxer, the the most famous boxer. There's Not so Muhammad. many. I mean, that could be. That's one. That's one. Okay. Two. Fuck. What is his name? Uh, the guy who said the speech. The speech. Speech. The speech. The speech. Like in the 60s, the 60s the 70s, 70s, whatever. Oh, uh, J, 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 J something. You know who I'm I swear you. I don't. Me. I don't. You, you, know you tell me. About. You tell me. You tell me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The basketball player. Okay, Michael basketball, Jordan. basketball. Uh, God, this is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That's two. Two. And then one more. Uh, LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Okay, okay, you got it, you got it. Okay. We out. <laughs> that was four dollar. Name your favorite three black people. Um, you two, and then uh, famous uh, black people. Uh, uh, they're somewhere. They're so. Wait, hold on, hold on. Crap, I know his name. What's I his know name? His name. Okay, okay. Okay. What's the uh? Fuck. What's fuck. the boxer? The boxer. The boxer. You know who I'm talking about. I don't know you talking about. You know who I'm talking. You tell about. me. I know who I'm talking about. I don't. I swear you do. You know how many black the boxers famous, there are? The famous boxer. The the most famous boxer. There's Not so Muhammad. many. I mean, that could be. That's one. That's one. Okay. Two. Fuck. What is his name? Uh, the guy who said the speech. The speech. Speech. You know what speech he talk about. Help her out, motherfucker. Speech. speech. Like in the 60s, the 60s, the 70s, 70s, whatever. Oh, uh, J, 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 J something. You know JFK, J Edgar, J Edgar, X, X Evers, J, J, J Edgar's, <laughs> J Medgar Evers, X, the third. I swear you. I don't. Me. I don't. You, you, know you tell me. About. You tell me. You tell me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The basketball player. Okay, I basketball, basketball. Uh, God, this is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That's two. two. And then one uh, more. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Okay. <laughs> the two greatest ball players of all time. Hey, you got it. You got it. Okay. We out. <laughs> For a dollar, name your favorite three black people. Man, I don't know. Um, just three. Um. Mike Tyson, George Floyd, and why, why George Floyd? Why George Floyd? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. First thing that came to my mind, bro. Okay, one more. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Okay. <laughs> Mike Tyson, George Floyd, and Floyd Mayweather. Listen, take it from me. I'm telling you this, man. The conception that white people hate y'all in there. Mm, they're sitting at breakfast like, mm, how can I start the day off harming black people? Any ideas, honey? And she's like, mm, I don't know. Like, I'm telling you, man. They don't really think about you like that. And it's weird, too, because I had to learn. I learned that a long time ago when I went to Quaker school. 
but I didn't really get it until I got older. Like, it's not like they don't care about you. It's like, yo, they paying bills, picking their kids up from soccer practice, taking their kids to fucking saxophone practice and shit. And going to the lake, they not thinking about you like that. Man, like, like the way I think black people think because we always think about white people and we always got white white people on the tip of our tongue, pause. And we always looking for a way to bring them up in the conversation, whether it's germane or not, that. We think that, yeah, they in their world doing that, and they, they just not really, man. It ain't really like that, man. Yeah, okay. You know. We out. <laughs> For a dollar, name your favorite three black people. Man, I don't know. Um, just three. Um, Mike Tyson, George Floyd, and... Why, why George Floyd? Why George Floyd? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. First thing that came to my mind, bro. Okay, one more. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Okay, yeah. okay. We out. Four dollar. Name your three favorite black people. Oh, um, um. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and she probably, hey, listen. And she probably fucked like twenty black guys. She's probably fucked 20 black guys. But that's that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about whether she's fucked 20 black guys at her high school or whatnot or college. It's like, yo, the world is so big, man. The world is so big. <laughs> black people are just a part of the world. We're just a part of the world that has very little consequence on the rest of the world. Press one. Black people are just a part of the world that has very little consequence on the rest of the world. Like, our, we have an inflated sense of, of our place in the world. Like, we think that, like, we're the axis on which the world revolves. And that's really, like, Nah, we've done some things, civil rights and shit like that. Don't get me wrong. We've done some things. I'm not saying that. But we think we're the axis, the fulcrum of the entire planet. Well, we know it doesn't work, but whatever. If it did, if it spent on a... We're like, we think we're just the main ingredient. That's a better word. We think we're the main ingredient. We think we're the flour in the cake. And really, we just the cinnamon. Damn. Press one. Just three. I actually, okay. Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Um, I don't know. I kind of just went blank. Two more black people. <laughs> you and you. Famous black people. You and you. Other than us. Um, let's see. I for, I'm forgetting everyone's names. I, I can't think of anyone. You can't name two black people. Mm -mm. Ah, you oh lost. My God. Now, here's the thing. He, in his mind, and listen, I wouldn't blame him. In his mind, he's probably looking at this like, oh, they, she trying to play us. They trying to play us. But I've been around white people. They don't know these, like, it's, have you ever heard this? Somebody's fame, this famous, and then there's black famous. Press one if you've heard that before. There's famous, and then there's black famous. Like, like for instance, like, let me give you an example of like black famous. Like, 
somebody yeah like let's let's take mace and cameron or yeah gilly the kid or somebody like that or you know baby anybody that's anybody that's a rapper anybody that's a rapper anybody any one of them niggas except for like michael jordan or michael jackson or even like somebody like darius rucker or somebody like that Or what's to do with the black eyed peas? Will I am those people might transcend the shit. Will I am might transcend the shit, but for the most part, they don't know you niggas like that. <laughs> and the ones who buy all the rap music, they know they're rappers and they know they they may know that, but they won't know other fields of black people. They may know the rappers or the ones who follow the NBA may know the 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 the, the, the ball players. I'm telling you, they don't know. Yeah, Tupac. Tupac is one who transcends. I think Tupac transcends. Tupac may transcend and Biggie to a lesser extent, but they're linked. They're linked, so Tupac and Biggie are linked, so Biggie might transcend it. But yeah, that's about it, man. Obama. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, if you gave them, if you didn't put them on the spot and you gave them more time, they could probably name a bunch of black people, but just putting them on the spot and saying, quick, think of some, what's your favorite black? It's like, yo, damn, you could, they, it's easy to draw a blank because you're not that important. Listen, the radio stations where I'm at, yo, I swear to God, one time I was driving up here and I didn't even know. I was like, damn, white boy killing it. I was listening to the radio. I was like, white boy killing it. And it was Eminem. They play Eminems on the radio up here, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll be a thinking like, damn, I said, who's that white boy getting it? That white boy was getting it on the mic. I was like, yo, who's this new white boy? Whole time is Eminem. They play Eminem on the in steady rotation up here on the radio. Yeah, <laughs> for a dollar, name your three favorite black people. His new stuff for a dollar, name your three favorite white people. Uh, <laughs> my favorite, favorite, uh, famous people, famous people. Okay, oh, uh, the president, <laughs> which one? Uh, Biden, okay. Who else? I can't think of any. Kind of hard, huh? Yeah. As far as favorite, uh, you got two more. See what I'm saying? He knows a lot of white people, but he's he doesn't like white people. Press <laughs> one. He knows a lot of white people, but he doesn't like white people. So asking him favorite, he's like, I don't like white people. So. So only white person I really like is Joe Biden. Massa Biden. <laughs> what the? I can't think of any. I can't think of two white people. That are not, <laughs> that I don't know. They have to be famous, huh? Yeah. It'd be two white people. Two more, okay. Oh, uh, Messi, Leonel Messi. Messi. And... Uh, Harlan, that soccer player from uh, Manchester City. For a dollar, name your three favorite. <laughs> uh, 